guys welcome to my channel learn tech this is sandeep kohl here i hope you all are doing good so today's video uh, which we are going to take is on the foundation part of its so you might have seen uh, the screen which i am displaying that i have already explained you how we define the foundation data in um, its which was our uh, you know old its some application which was running on mid tier so this one i have already uh, you know explained you how to define different aspects of and um, uh, you know uh, uh, foundation data like how to define a company then organization location support group people and then product categories operational assignment and so on and so forth so we have def uh, already understood how to define this in you know in uh, in its if you still haven't um, you know gone through that video i'll paste that link here in the description you can go through that so now in this video as we are you know uh, part of our helix you know training so today what i am going to explain you that how you would define the same thing here in the helix so for example if you see i have taken a lot of case um, sorry i have taken a lot of videos on case management which is called business workflows in otherwise so in case management we have seen that if you see this is a normal case which i have opened in an edit mode so here i do define this assignment okay so here you can see here there's a company and then under that company then you have different business units departments and subgroups so now let's suppose you have a requirement where you need to define an altogether a new company you need to set up everything from scratch whether it's a company name business units department support groups basically you need to set up a new support structure to uh, you know do the um, day to day to day operations and okay. so that how you define it that we are going to see it it's a very uh, you know uh, vast topic what we are going to see today today um, let me okay wait let me go there okay so how you go uh, here uh, to this foundation part for example if from here if i go to you know uh, helix platform if you click on this it will take you here sorry it will take you here it will take you to this page then you can go to administration so this is basically the platform so uh, how in the helix platform the configurations definitions you do here so here you need to go to this part foundation data so this is the place where you define all the foundation data for helix environment so today uh, to keep this video short and to make you understand the basic aspects of this i'll only go through the the addition of an uh, company and the support structure and all the support group but later uh, in other uh, videos what i will do i am going to cover all the aspects of foundation data in helix for example how to define locations how to define sites you can see here there are a lot of things here under this foundation data so define menu items define uh, data tags then uh, itsm foundation data sync okay one more important thing there is a sync between helix itsm uh foundation data and the itsm screen which we saw here okay so if i define something here and then i perform that sync then it will come to the itsm so that we will take in a separate video that's an advanced part up but as of now currently we have to focus on the foundation data how to define this in felix and uh, then we can see we have categorizations geography location organization and people somewhat it is similar to what we define in the itsm if you see here if i go to itsm here also this is organization location support group people product category operation category and assignment so here also apart from assignment everything is there okay so assignments i have already defined you how to define it there is a different way of doing that now uh, as part of this video what i am going to take i am only going to take this organization so how you define a new organization how you define the support groups how you define departments new departments and then uh, we will create one individual also basically a person who will be part of that support group. so then we will see how it looks like in the case management in the later videos we will go through you know drill through the other aspects of this foundation data okay so here now uh, if let's suppose i have to define a new organization i need to go to this administration part so the first thing you will go to here is in primary organization so primary organization is the basically main organization if you compare it here with this uh, old itsm it's basically this company okay so what i will do here i will create here a new organization so i would say let's say 
एक्स वाई जेड कॉर्पोरेशन ओके सो लेट्स से माय कंपनी नेम इज एक्स वाई जेड कॉर्पोरेशन ओके and then i have to define the primary organization type so if you click on this link you will see there are multiple options so it basically depends on what type of company you want to define so you want to define an manufacturer vendor um holding organization leasing this is depends on you know what type of organization you can define all types of organization here okay so but for us if i am basically an uh, you know uh, organization providing a support to a different um you know customers then i have to define this as an op um, operating organization that means it's uh, running the operations for that particular um, uh, customer okay so this i have selected um you can also select multiple options because if i want to say leasing this is also leasing maintenance then also i can do the manufacturer so you can define the type of organization what exactly this is currently i'm selecting only this option but you can select all of the options okay now the status is enabled you can provide a description of the organization it's up to you you can define your organization what exactly this is uh then you can also define the notification email list we'll not um, use this as of now uh, we'll keep it black then you can also if you have already defined the domain tag we haven't defined it but you can define that also then it will you can define uh, differentiate organizations based on the domain so i will save this now if i select here x y z so this org primary organization is already added now what i need to do i need to define this business units departments and support so let's start with business units so it again depends on your organizational structure how you want to define it like you want to define this organization as you know uh, you have to business department units then you have departments you have support groups it all depends on what sort of setup you want to do for your organization so i think let me go here back uh, x y z okay let me just edit it you can just select it and from here you can edit it and if you go to advance then um, you can also define child organizations here like you can define a structure currently it does not have any child organization so uh, you can add the people category sites and associated organizations so let me close this now i have selected x y corporation so now from here i can define new child business unit new child department and new child support so let's start with the business unit let me click here so i would say let's suppose it's a it support business unit you can define it any depending on your business sense so i would say support business unit type support enable domain tag i don't want to use i will save this okay now similarly i will define a new child department so let's say i have to define a department let's suppose this uh i'll use the same name but you can use a different name for department uh to define this um uh, this particular you know uh, um component depends on you know how you define your organization i'll use the same name but it it depends on so you need to define whether this is department as support type it's a business department so i would say support because i am using this as an it support system then i will save this then now coming on to the support group so now this is the main support group which i have to define uh, define so i would say it support group or here instead of it support i would say service desk so let's say this is the main uh, service desk which i have to define then i would say service desk enable domain tag i'll not use then i will say save okay now you have understood that we have initially defined this primary organization then mm -hmm. we have defined a child uh, business unit we have defined a child department we have defined a child support group basically it's part of this organization now if i edit here and i go to advance you can see here this uh, child organizations it is all uh, defined here under this particular primary organization so you have business unit you have department you have support Similarly, if I go to people, 
currently i don't have any person here so we will also add this let's see the other part categories okay so now if you want to add uh, categories to this categories basically is all the uh, operational categories if let's suppose uh, i have different operational categories i can associate them with this department also okay so this we will um, see later once we are creating them okay so let me close this then sites so now if this particular organization has a uh, you know a particular site you want to add it let's suppose i have this this is all uh, sites which i have but if as i said as part of foundation data when you define your new uh, sites that also will be visible here and then you can associate it so i will select this as of now i will close this okay then associated organizations if you want to associate this with a particular um, vendor or manufacturer organization that also you can do it here okay let's not go uh, deep into this otherwise we'll lose the main aspect of understanding the foundation data okay so as of now uh, if you see here what i have done i have created a primary organization which is basically the main company xyz corporations under that i have defined a business unit i have defined a child department i have defined a support group now if i edit it again now you know if i assign a ticket to support group so there should be an individual who is part of that support group, right so what i will do here if i go to advance people you can see currently there isn't anybody there okay so now i'll show you how to add the pe uh, person but i'll not add it then uh, will i use some the existing person so now to define the people you can go here manage people and here you can define a new person click on new then you can define a new individual for example i need to define myself sandeep kohl okay let's define it okay so then um, i have to define the other aspect this is basically a normal uh, you know uh, access details for uh, sandeep at test this is basically normal details for a um, uh, you know normal agent or a normal user so currently i let me go to access details here i would say s test this is the login id which i have to define then licenses license is name password you can define any password you want then default no notification mechanism i would select sale then functional roles so functional roles is very important so functional roles is basically the role you give this person to view the different applications for example in case of case i will give case and agent case manager case business analyst and case catalog administrator this is just i am giving him few permissions but you can also give him some other uh, permissions like this is the same thing what we used to do in people form in its so you define foundation read and restricted access is access to everything okay now uh, i have given him uh, permissions then application licenses yes so by default you have this lx platform user named user i will give him this permission and if i go to other details you can use this whether this is vip this is just basic other details you need to define okay will not define them then this is important assignment availability if i said yes that means he is available okay now i will save Okay, the status of the person is set to offline, cannot be set enable until a primary organization is chosen. Okay, now what I did actually, I created a user, I did not associate any primary organization with it. So, what I will do, I will again search my name. Let me search. Okay, wait, let me close this. So, I'll go here. So, here, this primary organization I need to define. Okay, so what I will do, I would say XYZ corporations, which I had actually defined save it and by default it will be disabled so what i need to do i need to just enable it i need to set this to enable okay so let me see where exactly is that yeah it is enabled currently it is enabled so now what we can do we can go to support groups so here i think this is our group service desk yeah, it belongs to XYZ corporations. So I go to advance. This is I go to support people, and here I will say add. Then I will search for name. Okay, so I think I have 
selected it. I will close this. It's already saved. Let me open this advanced port people. So it is already added. Now, if I go from here also, go to my primary organization XYZ corporations. If I go here, open it, advanced. Then, if I say people, you will see this person was added to this organization. Okay. Then let me close this. Then I would say, yeah, that's it. Now we have defined organization and new company. We have defined business unit. We have defined departments. We have defined, uh, defined support group. We have created one additional user or a person and we have also added them to the support group. Now let's see in case how whether it is uh, available or not. If I go to here a case. Let me create a new case. Let me select requester. Okay, and now uh, let me directly go to the assignment. So it will say change assignment. So in the company, I would select company. So this is my company, it is visible here. Then I would say IT support. Okay, now there's a problem here. By default, you don't you have to just select uh, directly support group here. So in, I don't know whether there is some issue or it is this way it has been built. But afterwards, you can select this unit. It will make search on that. Okay. So what I will do? Let me clear this. Sorry. Let me clear this, and then I will say service desk. Now you can see I got two options here. One is assigned to support group and Sandeep call because I had added a uh, user Sandeep call to this group, so I can directly assign him or I can assign this to this group. So that's why there are two options. If I say Sandeep call assign. The ticket will go to look here. You can see XYZ Corporation Service Desk um, Group and then Sandeep. So, uh, this is it. This is basic aspect of uh, defining a you know, um, defining an organization, then defining different business units, department, support groups, and then you know, assigning cases to them. Now, you can define uh, automated rules to assign tickets to them directly and also you can add more support groups to this organization and then this way your support structure will be built so in in um, this was the first video on foundation so i took the main aspect of defining the support groups in the other videos what we will see we will see how to define basically different locations geographic locations sites then categorization because categorization has both uh, operational as well as product categories so we will see all of them uh, in in coming uh, you know coming videos okay thank you